Hi, I'm attorney Gary Nutskin. I'm an attorney here with Credit Repair Lawyers of America. Do you think credit repair is a hoax? I'm here to tell you, it's no hoax. Here are five ways that your credit report can get damaged without you even knowing about it. First, most credit reports have errors on them. Two ways that credit reports can get damaged, and it happens a lot today. One is identity theft. It's still rampant and still one of the fastest growing crimes in the United States. Something else you may not know about is something called a mixed up file. This is where two people have similar names and live in a similar vicinity. For example, if there are two Jim Smiths that live in Detroit and one has bad credit, his bad credit information can get put onto the other Jim Smith's file. Second, creditors don't always do a good job of reporting payments. For example, from my personal experience, I once had an American Express payment. I made the payment in full and American Express reported me the next month as having failed to make the payment. I actually had to download the check from my bank the cancel check and fax it to American Express to prove to them I made the payment. These things do happen. Third, judgments can mess up someone's credit report, especially if that judgment doesn't belong to that person. Judgments don't have social security numbers and sometimes don't have addresses associated with them. So a judgment on someone who has a fairly common name can appear on their credit report even though it doesn't belong to them. Fourth, obsolete information, which is negative information that stays on your credit report longer than it's legally allowed to, can stay on your credit report for even longer. For example, an item that's on your credit report that's negative can only stay on for up to seven years from the date of the first delinquency. It's up to you to know when that date of first delinquency is, so you know when it's supposed to come off. A lot of creditors will take that information off your credit report after seven years. Some won't, and it's up to you to know when it's supposed to come off. And if you don't know when it's supposed to come off, it could stand in perpetuity. And finally, re-aging. This is a concept where a debt collector or even a creditor will keep a debt on your credit report for longer than they're supposed to by re-aging the date of the first delinquency. So if the first delinquency actually happened in 2001, but they're reporting it in 2015, and this does happen, it'll stay on your credit report for seven years starting from 2015. There was a major debt buyer, Asset Acceptance, that got fined by the Federal Trade Commission for over $2 million for doing this very thing. So this happens. You still think credit repair is a hoax? I don't. I make my living fixing credit reports and making sure that they're accurate. If you have any items on your credit report that are inaccurate, or you're not even sure, call us for a free no-obligation consultation. I'm attorney Gary Nutskin, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you.